I'm going to show you how to hang a very heavy punching bag which weighs about 200 kilograms at absolute minimal cost. This version is similar to my other version but this one is completely freestanding so all you need is just a patch of grass. Now here are the items you're going to need to set this up. You're going to need two beams which are about two and a half meters long and they're about ten dollars each so a total of twenty dollars. You're going to need a length of chain and it's about a dollar twenty per meter for this particular chain and you're going to need about five meters of it so you'll need about seven dollars worth. You'll also need a bunch of carabiners they're only about a dollar each so I've got about four or five in there. Now the crucial component that you're going to need is the, is the anchorage for this chain. And what I've used is a star picker fence post and I've hammered it in all the way into the ground until there's only the top of it showing and I've got the chain anchored on the very tip there. And that's got to hold the whole weight of the bag which is about 200 kilograms. So that's a very important part. Now the final component and what differentiates this setup from my previous one and allows it to be freestanding on a patch of grass like this is a bracket at the end of the beam. It's basically a joist hanger that I've screwed on the end allows it the beam to dig into the ground and stops it from moving. I'll show you this when I uh, dismantle it. Now I'm going to demonstrate how this setup can stand up to the various punishments that I dish out. Just to start off a few knees, it shows you the, the beams flexing a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Now a few kicks. A few punches. And some combinations. Even push kicks. There you go. Now the beautiful thing about this setup is at the end of my workout, I just fold it up and put it away. I use a bucket of sand put underneath the bag. That allows me to put the bag onto it. Then I just unhook my carabiner. Put the bag down. And then pull out my post. Take the chain off. And put it away. Now what I was going to show you at the end are these brackets that are strapped on the end of the beams. They're basically joist hangers and I've bent the, the ends of them. I've screwed it onto the tips of the uh, beams and I've bent the ends of them. And these allows the beams to dig into the ground and stops them from going anywhere. And that's what makes it freestanding. That's it.